I am, I am the, the humble, humble seer. seer. Hello and welcome to the Humble Seer. So let's do a past, present, and future on Kate Middleton. So yeah, we'll just do the traditional past, present, and future. Uh, young girl, teen years, 20s and 30s, adult, and her future. And then uh, a card on the mother and father and relationships, romantic relationships. Okay. This is her as a, a young girl. This is her teen years, 20s and 30s. Adult. And this is the future. Okay. So as a young girl, we have the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is ambitious. They're a leader. They have they're bossy. They're a nature lover. They're beautiful and they're sexy. And I mean, obviously she's a young girl, so, but she was a lovely young girl. And um, she had the qualities, those qualities of, you know, she was friendly and ambitious and kind of bossy. Like she would boss her, you know, she had siblings, her siblings around. That was her as a young girl. This is her in her teen years. And we have the strength card. And that's about bravery. I'm getting that she already knew that she was going to marry, you know, Prince William. I mean, that's that, that those things are arranged. And they're blood relatives as well. So so, in, yes, in her teen years, she has strength, brave. She cares for others. She's responsible and tolerant. I get that she was just kind of brave, you know. Um, I get that she's very athletic, physical, physical person. She exercises a lot. And that was, you know, she ran around as a young kid. And in her teens, she was very physical. Maybe played sports and things like that. But she caught wind that, okay, yeah, your life, uh, the royal, you'll, you'll be, this is your life. This is what your life will be. So there was preparation there in her teen years. And then her 20s and 30s is the hermit. Because now she's, you know, in that marriage with uh, Prince William. And the hermit card is loneliness, solitude, betrayal, dishonesty, standing alone. And those are things that she was experiencing in that marriage. She has since, you know, um, learned to deal with what comes with being married to a royal and that there is always infidelity. But early on, it was the hermit, you know, and then because this is the 20s and 30s, and then she moves into kind of being her own woman, settling into the life. The life isn't fun, though. The life is the hermit. It's solitude. It's a world like none other is what I'm getting. It's not a world that you would want to be in. You know, princesses, it's not what is cracked up to be at all. It's a miserable life is what I hear. No one would want it, and she definitely doesn't. Okay, this is her adult life now. So we have the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is the past coming back. I feel that she has, I mean, it's like they're, you know, the men definitely have affairs, but the women do too. <laughs> like Princess Diana did. Because all of this is for show. And she's no exception. And I'm getting that there may have even been a pregnancy where she was pregnant by somebody that she, you know. But anyway, that's not now. So Six of Cups is um, the past coming back, uh, fading away, vanishing. And I feel like she, in her... Um, 
in her adult life, she will have people coming around her that haven't come around her in quite some time. And that would be lovers. That would be family. It's like she's being, becoming reacquainted with people that she was at a distance from. And I feel like the queen, the queen Elizabeth who recently passed, she had a, a chokehold on a lot of things that, you know, like those, like people in Kate Middleton's past wouldn't be allowed to, that wouldn't be permissible. But now the things are loosening up. Um, and that's thanks to Charles being, because Charles isn't paying attention. King Charles isn't paying attention to much of anything. Okay. This is her future. And it's the nine of cups. And the nine of cups is, well, it's attainment. It's wishes fulfilled. But the thing about it is that there's a cup missing. So she has her children, and I feel that as they grow older, they'll be more, that relationship will be better as they mature into adult life. Those boys, you know, when they're like, oh, they're grown. And um, that is going to be her nine of cups. But she's missing that 10th cup, which is a loving marriage that she won't have. And she'll be subjected to things because she'll be the queen. See, she's they've got the little crown on her head. And um, her boys will be her solace is what I get. That will be her um, take the pain away kind of thing. Okay, let's get a card on her her mother, father, and um, and her romantic relationships. Okay, mother, father, and anyone that she would have dated prior. I don't get she dated a lot though. Okay, her mother is death. Um. Hmm. I don't know if her mother is with her. I feel like there she is, but she has health issues. All right, so the death card comes in, and it's about life changing. It's sadness. So the, there's some sadness around the mother right now. You know, there's it's not looking good. Her health is deteriorating is what I'm getting. Okay, we won't stay there. The father is the king of wands. And the king of wands is innovative. They're business-minded. They're center stage. And they have a level of success. Her mother and father were close to her. And they adored and, and loved their daughter and doted on their daughter. And they didn't want the world that the daughter is in now. They didn't want that for their daughter at all it wasn't something that they desired but it was just part of the plan is what i get okay this is the um romantic relationships and we have the sun and um the sun wh whomever she dated which is just a few a few maybe one or two i don't get her really in long-term relationships but what when they were it was the sun. But again, she always knew that she was going to be the queen. She always knew that. But she stayed, I'm hearing humble about that. And she's a humble person is what I get. So we've got the sun um, and, and romantic relationships. And again, that is just, um, it was good. And there was someone that was really good that she wishes she would have married instead of, you know, the person that she's with, or it was, it's more about the institution, right? Of the monarchy. It's tough. It's a tough life for her and she is not looking forward to it. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by the humble seer. Please do consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leave a comment below and tell me what you think about this reading. And if you like what I do, consider buying me a coffee and that will be in the description box below. Until next time you take good care and we'll talk again soon. Bye.